He, I can't fucking read! He, Hello, and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. It's been a hot minute. Uh, I am your host, Jake. Tonight, I am joined yet again by Ben from Nolan TCG. Well, you see, it wouldn't have been a hot minute. And also Blake from Blake Goes Face. If the <laughs> filler podcast that we uploaded last week didn't actually get uploaded. Yeah, um, no, we had issues with um, a couple of our um, stream people. Oh, um, And right. things yeah, just didn't yeah, happen the way yeah. they were supposed to happen. So apologies, there was supposed to be... A podcast that floated out to you guys in our absence. Uh, it didn't happen. Uh, in fact, all of the podcasts just went away. Um, Fuck Spotify. Been, yeah, pretty much. Um, but that's been fixed now. Unless um, you want to give us an exclusive deal, in which case we love you, Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be on the same platform as Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan? Fuck we Spotify. We are on the same platform. <laughs> I am boycotting Spotify. <laughs> yeah. From now on on the Spotify upload, you will only hear censored voice of Ben. <laughs> just Which, brrr. depending on the week, is probably a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, speaking of weeks, how was our week? Um, I'm just going to go with Ben on this one. Oh, yes, yeah. I'm the only person that went to a locals. Yeah, yeah we were on based. a plane. Yeah, we all yeah. went on holidays. Um, but I got, I flew back early so that I could go to locals. Man so needs I, content. Yeah, I hopped off a plane, come home for two hours, went to locals, and won locals. Hell oh, you yeah. won. Hell yeah. yeah. Was that playing? with Flunder? Yeah, I played that crack Flunder list. Still, turn so skip good. flunder. Turn skip Lovely. flunder is just still so good. Beautiful. List is cracked. I told you when I built it that it was a crack list, and it's cracked. Um, but yeah, that was it. Apart from that, uh, we all went on a holiday. Yes. And that was our week. Two weeks. You just played locals before we left, though. Yeah. You did you guys play uh, that yeah. Tuesday? Yeah, I was there on Tuesday. Yeah. How did um, that go for you? Wait, were you playing? No. I was going to say, but no, I don't know why you're commenting. Um, I don't remember how it went. I imagine it didn't go well if I didn't remember. Um, oh, maybe I came second. I don't know. I don't know. I remember my hands of late have been really bad. Like, I've just opened, like, Ooh, polymerization gosh. and, like, ad lib into nothing. And I'm just like, hmm. Sad. This does nothing. Mm-hmm. I don't know how that's possible. There's, like, 17 starter cards in that fucking deck. I just don't see them. You know what the best thing about Cracked Flunder is? You either draw Flunder combo, or you, just, or you skip your opponent's turn. You just set the card and, and go, attempt to play. Yeah. Yeah. Your turn's been skipped. And so no, I'm going to draw? Oh, not, nah. you know oh. what? Skip me next one. Oh man, I kind of bricked. I opened two Robina. Oh, you let, stopped my let, first Robina? Let me, let me try again next turn. Let me try again. Let's skip your turn. I'm <laughs> wrong again. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. I think it, the replay went up as of recording last night of me versus... Luke in game one of round one. Oh, I did see his sword soul yeah. versus Flunder come up. I like I drop game one and then win game two because I'm going first and I open decent. Uh, game three, he goes first, opens well but not like spectacularly well. No, actually he opened really well. He opened like the trap, Baron, and the and Chijou. And mm. I was like, Standard okay, cool. Opening, yeah. and I play the uh, the continuous. He's like, that's fine. And I'm like, so I open like the continuous. Uh, Robina, Eaglin, Field Spell, oh, D Barrier. Interesting. So I go, like, activate the Continuous. And he's like, that's fine. What? I, I activate the Field Spell. Why is he allowing that? I activate the Field Spell and then go, like, effect of the Field Spell. He's like, that's okay. I reveal the Robina, summon it. He's like, that's fine. I reveal the Eaglin, summon it. And he's like, negate the Eaglin. Except I've now... No, no, he allowed Robin to resolve. I search the Eaglin. He negates the Eaglin. But I've hard opened it at M pen. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and, and then he loses. Point, I'm like, a uh, hard summon over the, the Baron to flow. The Baron and, and the, the thing. Yeah. And then like... Have a bad cool. time. So... Game state. The, control. The, the continuous the spell minute is that cracked both out of its mind. The continuous and the field spell are up at the same time. Yeah. Like the cheese yarn negate no longer matters. It, Use the trap, get rid of them both. Yeah. yeah. Get yeah. rid of them. Just make so, them leave. At this point, I've, so I've recovered. Actually, that's back. a really good shout. That's a really good shout because if you then only leave the Baron, they've only got one summon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you yeah, negate yeah. the summon, <laughs> that is it. Yeah. yeah. So I, I recur back my resources. I, I know he's going to pop, so he uses the trap and he pops. And it leaves him with nothing. And I get left with, like, just a Robiner and the Continuous spell. And then I think I shuffle back one from hand, because I had the extra one in rotation. Yeah. I uh, shuffle one back, 
and then set the D barrier and just pass. And you start playing on like D barrier, and then full combo again. Next it's just, bit. That's it. It's crack. Yeah. It's a crack <sighs> list. I, I genuinely think that field the the continuous falls way better than I thought it was. Oh yeah. I, because the the other thing I was doing was um, when they open kind of suboptimally, you just go like field continuous spell normal Robita, and they go. Ah, I am now in a not good spot. Yeah. I can't allow this. And you're like, yeah, there you go. If you've got the map in hand or whatever, then you can just play around it. But if you've just joined us, you've uh, joined us at Bird Corner. Bird uh, Corner. <laughs> Tweet. <laughs> Unlike the weekend, which was Frog Corner. Ooh, Fuck the frogs. Fucking frogs. frogs. Fuck them frogs. Yeah, I hate them so that frogs. brings us to our holiday. Uh, we all went. We can wrap it up. We like, went we to can Melbourne do it pretty quickly. I guess. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. yeah the point take long. We yeah. we went to Melbourne. Pokemon happened in Melbourne. Uh, big Pokemon tournament. What, two hundred players? A smidge under two hundred players. Uh, yeah, it was yes, literally yes. one ninety six. Yes, yeah, because at two hundred players, apparently they pay you more money to be there. Yeah, double, so, double, in fact. Double. But anyway. Uh, so yeah, Lewis did really well for my locals. He top eighted at his second consecutive Pokemon tournament. Mans has gone to the World Championships. Easy done. Um, Easy this man top sixteenth. Happy days. Got my world's invite. Not going, but I got it. And I could have top sixteen, but I lost my easiest matchup to hard bricking. I saw it. I was there. This I, man was sitting next to me. I he was versing a mate of mine, and as soon as you sat down against him, I went, "This is just your easiest matchup." I knew it straight away. I looked at Jeremy. I went, "Sorry, man." I proceeded to hard brick both games, and I was like, "Hmm, was my invite?" <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, my weekend was, in terms of Pokemon, was abysmal. Look, uh, I played your list tonight at Locals to test. It's not a good list. It fucking sucks. It does yeah. suck. That list was Unfortunately. terrible. It's not tech optioned. It's literally, like, it's as turbo as that deck can be, but not considering any of the opponents, which in Pokemon is a problem. Uh, genuinely, uh, I got told, like, last week or the week before when considering decks, they went, if that card had a said 120 plus 30 for each energy we might have considered it and it doesn't it says 30 it is not enough no um, and that was the problem I kept coming across it's just not enough all weekend uh, the amount if I had yeah. $10 for every time I was 10 fucking well, damage yeah. off of killing something every time I could have paid for my entire trip <laughs> it'd be just, done the amount of times I looked at something that was 280 because me and Jake played the same <laughs> list just heavily different um yeah, the amount of times I looked at a Pokemon with 280, and I was like, I can do 270 with ease. 280 is difficult. This is hard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but also, I will be doing some personal Pokemon content, but also I want to do some stuff for the channel. So if you want to see more Pokemon stuff, let us know. If not, we're going to do the Yu-Gi-Oh thing. Also, stop bitching about formats being T0. We went to a Pokemon tournament, and all decks in top 8 were the nah, same. No, no, no. This is, this is wrong, though. This is a bad opinion. Because the Americans tried to have this opinion, and the Americans are stupid. All American Pokemon players are stupid. Um, that's not true. That's not true. Um, I don't know a single was... good American Pokemon player. Good. It was just that the six best players in the country, and probably in top 20 in the world, played the same list, because one of their guys was like, trust me, this is it. Nobody else in the is entire event... Okay, cool. Anyway, nobody else in the <laughs> entire event played that list. Nobody. It was just it was that those six players and three of them top aided. Palkia in general, though, did have like forty percent of the whole event, which is fucking a lot. It's a like actually, but American IC is next week, and I don't think Palkia is going to top it all. That's my hot take. Top it all is a big call. Oh, I'm going to say no, none. I'm going to say one in the top eight. I think it'll be like two or three, but I'm going to so say you, one in the top eight. You're really concerning well, it's me. Twenty percent battery. Oh, the, oh no, the, there it goes. Unplugged it. Pokemon has this really bad it's not bad it depends on your opinion good players will win with any deck they play yes and if you don't like that because you like you know you should have some chance to get over the top of them unfortunately um, I, whatever I just... Tord plays in I and I whatever Tord plays he's just gonna fucking win with like it's just gonna happen the other thing is too like that deck Palkia had just come out so yes like what the week before yeah, if, like, if, like eight days, yeah. So, like, although some people were prepared, they had their techs, they had their whatevers, not everyone was no, fully versed on exactly what that did. No yeah. one teched against it specifically. There's literally an item card that turns the entire deck off. Mm -hmm. And Tom ran into it, and, like, 
a handful of players played it, and I guarantee you a shit ton are going to play it in America. Oh, 100%. That's it's gonna just an so item play. that says water Pokemon can't activate their abilities. That's all it says. Wait, it's not the item, is it? It's Jolteon, isn't it? It's, uh, no, memory... It's a, uh, it's a thing. Yeah, yeah. So, from what Kevin told me, that item, all it does is let you use the attacks of the Pokemon that you evolved it from. Jolteon's the one yeah, with the yes. ability that goes that's water what, Pokemon, that's what I mean. no. The item, the item allows you to do it. If that makes sense. So you still have to play Jolteon. Yes, but Jolteon also hits for weakness. Yeah, it's a one attacker. I think it does 120 and then after, 100 to a we've gone back on discussion but this is too but much yes. Pokemon talk but yes. for one anyway, anyway regardless if you want more we can do it but let us know um, I'll probably do it anyway but if you want more comment le- yell at us yell at me in particular or Lewis I'll try and drag Lewis onto here he's not gonna I'm not, well, I'm not, I'm it, not it will be there. literally a drag um, he hates I, w- I will do the thing um, if you can but we had a really lovely pack that was literally only like one day for me one and a half days of a six day trip seven day trip um, on that, yeah, I was I was gone for a week and a half. We had a good time. We did the drink. Oh, we yeah. did the uh, emo night. We did oh, the, emo night was great. Um, emo oh. night was great. Everyone left, and then me and Jake were the only people left. And then that you, was still you, you was kicked a woman, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I I trampled someone. <laughs> <laughs> the context you just like yeah, yeah we had a great time just, I drank oh he kicked a woman yo <laughs> I did drink. yeah 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 um, we're getting on to that uh, and while we were away a bunch of stuff got announced oh yes while we were out while we were drinking we were in the middle of emo night and Ben starts screaming at me from across the room that there's a OCG list there's yes. updates there's fucking shit I was devastated so I we, we were at uh, we were at emo night and the OCG ban list drops, and my favorite card is banned. Yeah, so uh, do we just... Let's my discuss. favorite card was unbanned. <laughs> yeah, so let's discuss it now. So, uh, yeah, we have a new OCG uh, forbidden list uh, that's effective as of my birthday. It's called a segue. Happy birthday to me. Um, so, forbidden, we have Halka Fibrax. Oh, no. Vanity's Emptiness. Rest in peace. And Totally Awesome. Man Goodbye. said a moment of silence OCG ban list effective on his birthday like it's not effective on his birthday every year. <laughs> yeah. They literally drop pay, one they drop one July first every yeah, Okay, year. so every I don't year. play their format. I don't pay attention to what happens in it for the most part. I take a cursory glance, I'm like, oh, okay. The people that um, are sitting there like why can't we play OCG? Shut up. So I'm quite mad I'm quite mad by this. Just a totally awesome hit. How can Firebreaks can fucking die? Vanity's emptiness shouldn't have been in the game. It yep. got really toxic <laughs> apparently in the OCG with some interactions that you can do where your opponent would activate vanities and you'd chain cross out, sending vanities, and then you play and then they're locked under the vanities on their turn. Um it's in there. That wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> yes. Oh wait. So when you cross out, is the yes. entire card negated? The, the card gets turned so, off. So you can send shit to their grave. It won't go. Yeah, it's oh, not it doesn't so die. Rough. You can out their entire board, leave them on just the vanities, and then when you pass your turn, the vanities <laughs> turns back on. It goes, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. And the only thing that <laughs> can be destroyed. What, what, what happens? What happens? <laughs> that whatever that dude, does, whatever that thing. In oh the, yeah, KP dude. I return. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, totally awesome is a weird one. I was almost sure they would just start gunning down things in the archetype. It, I think it's because it puts a negation onto the archetype. Like, Hulk, again, also banned close to the same reason. Hulk also used in do, that deck. Does the deck do anything now? Oh, well, yeah, it still does heaps. Like, I don't but, Oh, I guess the monsters have negates. And, yeah, it like, just doesn't... There's like, other things you can do. It's just not, oh, I get to do them, and also I have a negate halfway yeah. through, so you can't do shit after that. Yeah, it's just you know. not absurdly free. Okay. I'm keen for it to be absurdly free in the TCG. Maybe not as good, but no, I'm... You see, the thing in the TCG is that we're going to have three Toad when we get the deck. They just had one. Oh, they were only allowed <laughs> it, it was, one? It was limited. Oh, and now it's gone from guys. Nice. I have band. to go check my binders. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was going through my bulk today, and I like pulled across like any toad thing. I was like Ronan, Gib, Gib, Dupe, yeah, Gib. yeah, just give it all. Um, I just had Max Rarity sitting around all the time, so not anymore. I see you selling it. It's not mine. Oh, oh shit! That's why yeah. Angry reacted because yeah. I saw you <laughs> selling that ulti swaps, and I was yeah. like, "What are you doing?" You see, then? I have more than a playset. Ah, oh, <laughs> Kingen is what he's doing. Um. Yeah, very excited to see what that does here then. Because 
Fun. We have other things that have happened. Yes, uh, we've limited. We have uh, Eva, which again should have happened a while ago. Uh, Spellbook of Judgment uh, uh, and branded opening. Can I have a uh, half a point for my? No, damn. <laughs> it seems a terrible, terrible idea. That's nah, fine. OCG it's is, not is king of bad. bringing stuff back that we think can't come back. Like, what's the worst that can happen? You get jogged. <laughs> yes, that is specifically. Yeah, that the, is the... precisely the problem. No, but you, it's not like a quick jargon. It's not like that jargon's hitting you immediately. Like, look, we we realized with all of these cracked cards coming back, they're not that good because they are slow, and decks at the moment just say no. Yeah. Like, what's what's worst gonna happen? You go full combo, and your opponent goes, "I activate Skullbook of Judgment," and you go negate. Okay, you're saying that like. You're going first all the time, so if you're a, you're a Sky Striker opponent, let's say, goes fucking off, and then at the end they just get a Jargon as well. Well, then they can't take the spell. <laughs> first Sky Striker cards. Yeah, I know, but DPE also didn't give them that problem. Yeah, but DPE could remove itself from the board. I guess the Jargon just says no. Jargon says, <clears throat> but I guess then if you try and remove the Jargon, then everything's on. Yeah, true. You can negate the Jargon, and, and then, then everything's off. Every everything's off, but you implant the dra the Jargon. You win. Just open it, idiot. Yeah, just open just it. Open just open the, the outs. Um, I feel like that really should be the slogan for this game. <laughs> just open it, idiot. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, Eva, yeah, that should have happened ages ago. I, so the weird thing about this ban list, like the Eva hit, I think is the OCG being like, if we hit Splite, what if people play what they're playing on Master Door? <laughs> Thus they needed to hit Eva. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. No, it's a hit to Agents. Um, and branded opening again. That's just lowering the. It was a two, right? Yeah, it went to two yeah. in the yeah. last list. Yeah. yeah, they've just moved all that stuff down for fear that it could just get take better. immediately take over. Yeah. yeah, sure. When you check the deck, that's absurdly better than in, over there. All of a sudden, it's good. Yeah. Yep. Uh, then we go on to semi limits. We've got GeneX Alley Birdman Ally, yeah. I should say. That's a loop. That uh, yeah, it oh. is. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, just um, that level three that like you mill a top card and burn your opponent for the oh, level. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that with um, Ally Birdman is a loop. Fine, sick, good. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. <laughs> this is fucking garbage. Uh, Flounderies and the Magnificent Map is also a two. Leave him alone. I've never actually read its full name. Uh, I've just been like, oh, yeah, 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 Magnificent Map. Yeah, yeah. It's it's you know. Uh, and Brand of Fusion. Sure. Again, just, just to yeah. bring down consistency yeah, sure. so that it's not the most overpowered deck. However, I will get on to what is the most overpowered deck in just a minute. Um, we all unlimited. Know it's in this game. Yes, yes, it is. I'm looking very forward. Uh, unlimited. We have right. August Harp Horror. Uh, oh, yeah. Harmonizing Magician. Sure. Night Assailant, Post Arata. Makes sense. Thunder Dragon Roar. Um, can I ask a really quick question? No. Is Bragg asleep right there? Kind of, yes. Okay. Don't scream. Okay. <laughs> Lone Fire Blossom. Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. The Beginning of the End. <laughs> Rageki, Divine Wind of Mist Valley, which is also limited here for uh, reasons I don't fully even, understand. Let me tell you something. That card has been on the ban list since I started playing this game, and I still don't fucking understand <laughs> why. I believe it looped. Mm. It's a oh, lot of 100%. these cards are just cards that. Um, I remember Poppies used to play it because it's like, oh, they do the bounce. Yo, Senju used to or whatever play it. it was. Oh, of course. That's why yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. why is this card limited? It's also bad. But anyway, uh, Soul Soul Sword Soul Emergence, and Wind Up Carrier Zen Matey. Let's go, Rivi. We fucking hate looping cards. <laughs> There's a lot of cards that they just. It is back. a lot. They were just like, <laughs> they go off. We gonna loop like, the amount of. It might not matter, but the amount of cards you can summon through like as many negates as they've fucking got is. I don't know what they'll do with it. They might just get a full board of little fucking robot dudes and say, We're here now. Kill us. They also have um, a link to you that just has always existed in a world where you don't have Hunter or Zen Mighty. Yep. And now they have both over there. Um, genuinely, like, not a lot of hand traps can stop that deck. It, you need to open like multiple now. Nabiru. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Actually, I'm gonna even do it. Because <laughs> you can summon... Oh, no, Nib takes all of it, right? So, Gets like... rid of everybody. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> That's problematic. Yeah. It's a two there. No nothing can deal with it except for the most prominent hand trap since it's released other Big than Ash Blossom. Rock. 
We see robot, rock. we throw rock. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's all coming into effect really soon. Um, Thunder Dragon Raw is an interesting one because Colossus never left for them. Colossus, Colossus has always a been one. a one. Yeah. Eh. And you're just adding to the consistency of it. Also, I'm uh, kind of surprised that, like, um, Branded never took the opportunity to just be like, eh, throw a Thunder at the board and make a Colossus as well. Like, I've ne- eh. never seen any list with it. I won't lie to you, th- every time I remember Colossus as a card, I go, what the fuck was that? I just every single time I go, no, nope, should have been printed. Get it away. It wasn't Don't a, like it. It wasn't an atrocious card. Like it like, is it's cl- super unfair. <laughs> it's real free. It's it's so free. <laughs> it's free. It's freer than your mum on a Sunday. That is pretty damn free. Freer than the breadsticks, Ben. Freer. You all got breadsticks, what? Breadsticks. The breadsticks are free. Somebody will get it. It's fine. Uh yeah, so Again, like I was saying, it doesn't... No part of this, other than maybe the branded stuff, if you want to argue it, has addressed what was slowly becoming the more popular deck in the OCG, which was Tier Element. What does it do? Partic- Conspiracy uh, theorists... basically Light Sworn Cross Shadol. They mill themselves, and then once they mill themselves, they shuffle themselves back into the deck to fusion summon. Conspiracy oh, theorists cool. like yeah. Jake will <laughs> try to convince you that Tier Elements was the better deck of the two. It was not... Otherwise, it would have gotten murdered on the ban list. Um, yeah. Spider's better. But it's sure, it is. Two elements has its own little toad? niche there. Splat without Toad? Well, that kind of negates shit all fusion. Yeah. Yeah. Window. <laughs> Window. Also, again, that's another card I keep reading going. Hang on. This is so unfair. Yeah, so to get Just, back on the tier element train for a second, um, they can do that off turn. But why? You're going first, and they're just like, okay, uh, mill, fusion, winder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, the nearest variant actually looks super fun. It's um, They've got... Um, Hang on, you know, can you do it if your opponent says you can only summon level twos? Hence the reason why is... they do oh, it. Okay, okay. They do it immediately. Oh, okay. Like, the second you start playing, they're like, mm, winder. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, but yeah, um, the newest variant that I've seen is doing f- relatively well in the OCG is the Ishizu, Ishizu Retrain Fairies um, using Exchange of the Spirit, which is like a, a pay a thousand, you both swap your deck with your graveyard. Okay. They mill a heap of shit, and then, and then, then their sh- cards like let you manipulate what's in grave as well. So if they see that you have um, stuff that would be good in deck in the graveyard, they're like, oh, okay, put that back in the deck. And then swap it around. And then flip. I would argue that this is a win more build. Sure. And that's funny. And I'll enjoy seeing it happen once every couple of games. And we'll laugh about it. And then not I'm see looking it. really forward to tier elements. They're looking forward to Sply. He probably won't play it. Because busy. Novel summer. Frogs. <laughs> I'm keen for frogs. I won't lie to you. We're only like a month and a half out from Sply. I can't wait for it to get delayed. Do you know? Oh yeah, that's. Do you know the thing? Oh, oh, it's a major main set. set. Main I set's also, delivery. I'm also a month and a half out from being free every Sunday, Ooh. so I can do it, um, and I'll be just down the road. So Sunday locals. I know it's not Tuesday night locals, but it's close. I work. We move. We move Next on to news. Master Duel. No, we frog. Uh, lots of things have happened on Master Duel of late. Uh, wow. Firstly, we have Are new any packs. of them birds. No, I sleep. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so new packs got added. They didn't really add a lot. They added um, the agent cards. Cool. Uh, they added the punk cards as well. Um, and some Great. other stuff. Um, every... It's not made a whole heap of difference in the meta I've seen on a, there. a lot more punk running around. I mean, yeah, it's kind of a, just a free engine. Because yeah. like, I think Italy is at one still in Master Duel. I don't know, I don't acknowledge those things, I just FDK. Yeah. Except you don't. I saw you the other day. You don't. You were playing August. Oh. No, that was today. And that oh, was in was. the event that started today in Master Duel. Ah, Games. yes, yes, yes. We'll get onto the that one in The tournament. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but yes, uh, that has also been announced. Uh, the Highlander format. Um, I started building it and then I ran out of engines that I already own and the prospect of me oh, buying yeah. more engines it, was like mm, mm, it, mm, it cost me a lot I, I yep. had enough to like <laughs> build a new deck and I was like guess I'm just investing in a bunch of one-offs <laughs> I literally just slapped whatever engines I already had I thought I'd already had enough to put in like a small trickstar engine 
Nope. <laughs> so you just went like invoke. And yeah, DP I'm like, I own this deck, put this in. I own yeah. this deck, put this in. I own this deck, put this in. Yeah. Um, which with four engines got so me up well. to about 30 cards. And then I was right. like, mm, consistency cards. Uh, one of every danger. Uh, card destruction. Uh, <laughs> the, the, Do you see put, a trap? Put the pots in. Uh, I'm not going to see them. You're not going to see yeah, them. Yeah, but you're so. just filling space at that point. I've finished my build. My build, I went with PKBA. Oh, Orcus. PK's a shout. Oh, I think I've got PK. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It was like PK, BA, Orcus, shenanigans. Sure. Yeah, look, Wait, that makes sense. You go like standard PK, BA combo, and then also Orcus combo on top of this. Basically, my deck is going to end up being any variant that I've ever played with Invoked is going in. Yeah. <laughs> Shadol is there, Mech Knight is there. Um, Orcus hasn't been with Invoked, but Orcus has been with Mech Knight, so that's. <laughs> get in <laughs> there is the problem of Nightmare Mermaid is still banned <laughs> yes yes it is I was, I was like Nightmare Mermaid Ooh, damn. <laughs> oh, nice. and <laughs> also Gisu is at one uh, Harp is still at one so is everything else oh yeah that's, yeah, that's better, how that works it's a yeah, one off yeah, yeah. format I forgot that we were talking about that for a minute um, it only yeah. matters if it's at zero yeah pretty much also new oh. battle pass Yes, uh, so... With Shep. So that started today. Uh, so today. the rewards for this, uh, we get the uh, Warrior Digrepher is one of the tokens. Blech, no one cares. Uh, we What'd get, you call me? <laughs> we get uh, Mech Knight, uh, Crusader Avramax as uh, the background piece that you can have on like your player card. Uh, uh, no one ever sees it, no one ever cares. But most importantly, Shep. at 100, you get Scatgot. Shep. Is it just the pink one? I it seems to be. I saw them post a video of it and it was just the pink one. Which is fine. Man's abandoned bus. Yep, because it's not birds. But there I was promised Laundry Dragon Maid Mate. It's coming. He promised this to me like a month ago. The one I good didn't use promise for that monster, you shit. You're I the said man, it was there. You're the man who brings me my master door news. Yes, it's true. Where is my master door content? Where Shep? Where his birds? Where bird? I actually don't know why they're so afraid I'm to bring fucking, the birds. Do you know why? Because <laughs> they'll be tier zero and they know it'll be tier zero and they're fucking cowards. Except they won't. No, they're cowards, Jake. I swear to God, they're they cowards. They won't be tier zero. I'm my video now. says otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? But yeah, it is. I should have said Plunder East Tier Zero is my title. That's a way better yeah, title. Your title's clickbaity enough. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. I really tried, Ben. I tried so hard. Well, maybe you should have gone like, what was the title already? Like, Plunder East? It was, is now in it was literally Deluxe just Plunder East in Master Duel question mark. Tier Zero. Tier Exclamation Zero. Exclamation mark. Gone wrong. Gone sexual. No, birds don't go sexual, huh, baby? <laughs> Get all the algorithms. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the thing that I'm most happy about with that particular um, Highlander format thing is the ban list that they've implemented. They took out all the bullshit cards, like fucking Vanity's Skill Drain, uh, Draco cards, uh, deep, effectively DPE. Like, you can still run actual DPE, but you don't have De Fusion Destiny, so you can't just sack a one of and be like, haha. Uh, right. Verte also banned. I still had someone today, normal summon a barrier statue, set four pass. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. I well, also got set four. It's less likely that they're gonna have like solemn judgment, solemn judgment, solemn warning. Yeah, but there's a bunch of good traps. Track. Yeah, that's fine. Play lightning storm. Also, just uh, I'm gonna make a top ten Fonderies cards for you. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. Fuck it. <laughs> Don't care. Number ten now. <laughs> number bro, number <laughs> fucking forty nine now. Not even forty nine, bro. Snell is worse in the deck than most Fonderies cards. It's not even the worst Fonderies card. It's one of just the worst cards in the deck. Like, if you... Don't put it in the deck, please. Rise is being reprinted, okay? Don't put it in the deck. I've had three comments so far fucking tell me to put it in the deck. Stop. Not worth. Um, we also have news uh, unrelated to Master Duel. What the uh, It's the next uh, deck building pack, the Amazing Defenders. Jesus uh, so we have Christ, hints on all three... <laughs> Fuck so we've me. got three hints of the archetype as well as the artwork. Uh, so the first one is R Ace, which apparently in the OCG is Rescue Ace, uh, a righteous ace monster that bravely stands up to any and all threats. Uh, basically, looks like a Barrel Dragon on crack. Um, it's called Race. Yes, R -Ace. I know what it's defending now. 
Race Wars. Race Wars. Um, the next one is called Purely, uh, which is an XZ monster that grows when it receives love. That's a non suck type. Yes, it is. Uh, not as much as the next one. Oh no! <laughs> that's, 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 that's a non suck type. That's a non suck type. Makano, women, a young maiden that serves Kami in Shinto. Uh, and apparently, it's a uh, ritual monster that advances through mysterious dance. So it's bad. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be great. Ritual archetypes inherently are slow. Unless you give all of them a Shadol Fusion ritual card. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. What if? There's three what if? It's kind of bullshit. No, 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 no. <laughs> what if they just make Sky Striker, but the, instead of you having rays, it's the ritual monster? What? You literally print every Sky Striker's card again. Yeah. Except you make it based around a ritual monster. It does say by Mysterious Dance. All the cards could just be different dances. Look, that may well be oh, what the this ends up being. And the <laughs> cha-cha engage. <A> cha-cha engage. <laughs> Draw your bonus card. Well, cha-cha. Well, no, you'd have to call them different. It'd be, cha-cha-cha. It'd be Meccano. Cha-cha. Cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. What would, what would be after bonus? Flamingo. <laughs> um, what's the other one? Um, can I mean... Horner drones. Um, oh, that's a waltz. Feel free to steal this idea after C Konami. <laughs> Don't steal it. Pay us money. No, steal the idea. Print the deck. It's a ritual. You just flip the barrier. <laughs> Honestly, that's the worst people thing eat. about the current format. Is like people just want to go in and play their like time thieves and fucking necros and shit. Nope. And everyone's like, nope. Yeah, because I branded your deck is fucked. Here's the thing too. <laughs> people were like so heavy on. D is a fucking terrible card because we have these blue new cards called links and they're not on the fucking card. Mm. And <laughs> like, like we weren't gonna get an archetype type at some point that didn't fucking revolve around links. Okay, so, so, so here's onwards. the thing: you say this, yes. but you were also on the podcast wearing a tie saying that links are the death of the game. Shut your no, fucking but they face. went. Aw- they went. They, it, it, uh, yes, and I'm standing by that. It fucking slaughtered the game for like a year. I it slaughtered it. only for stupid people. Yeah. No, no. Only, that, no, no, gave no, no, us no. the most consistent FDK of all time. What the fuck are you talking about, Jake? No. Yeah, it didn't give us that until like at least a year after they were released. No, That's what I'm that, saying. That, that was period in of time. February. Yeah. It was fucking close. It, but was, it they, was nine they, months. But they sorted it out. And I think they made a lot of cool cards and a lot of cool decks. And now they've kind of gone away. Like, uh, I think it's fine now. Konami said, here is double helix. And I was like, I like Link Summoning now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very nice. I That's went from summoning sense. Mrs. Radiant and being like, how the fuck does this work? To being like, you're double helix. <laughs> okay, I won. <laughs> what was that voice? <laughs> what? Man said, that's, that's my here's, double helix voice. Here's 17 negates and 14 pops. Have fun. <laughs> oh, you have evenly? I don't care. I popped. Uh, you can't. Uh, you can't no, you don't. You got a trigate. <laughs> yeah, but it forced the trigate. And then, and then you've got like, the double oh, pop no. and the other fucking negate and the other fucking thing and cherries. St- still in a battle phase. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, we you have double the next. You stayed on sleeper. It was fine. The next retrain of structured X has also been uh, leaked a little bit, uh, which is in the OCG called Devil's Gate. Will not be that here. No, because uh, uh, Konami of America it's sucks basically uh, the was Dark World. The old one called Gates of the Dark World. The first one. Yeah, I think so. Mm, damn, they can't even call it that. More gates of the dark world. <laughs> Gadia um, of the dark world. Uh, because Ben has banned me from reading the cards. Good, um, because they're shit, and if they're, they're, unless the they're good. Ones, they're, they're all right. They're fine. They're not that good, though. Uh, one's just a retrain of Greffa, effectively. Um, summons itself back by bouncing one. Yeah. Uh, one is a uh, like uh, soul release that lets you discard a fiend afterwards and then uh, let you recur banished. One one's of them a, is a fucking... Bamboozling Gossip Shadow. Uh, yeah, the what? fusion. Yeah, yeah, the fusion. It's um, the Bamboozling Gossip so, Shadow. So, yeah, when your opponent activates a spell trap, uh, I think it's just spell trap. Or a monster effect. Um, just change it to your opponent discards a card being you. Yeah, and then so because, it forces you to discard. Yeah, and then and you all, the, your dark, dark all the Dark Worlds get other effects oh, if they're discarded. it's not discard. even Durandal, it's better. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Just changes, opponent activates Rota. No, 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 no. I will discard now. No, no you me. have you have ripped one, and also um, floats into one of the big boys. 
Um, and then they yeah. also get a quick play fusion um, that lets them summon a fiend, so potentially splashable in like Despia variants of Branded. Um, but then the interesting thing about it is that uh, if you're summoning the Dark World one specifically, it discards the cards as fusion material. So then it triggers them as well. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's a, that's cool. That's like a nice it, little. It synergizes very well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's the same as like the rocket one um, lets you destroy the monsters as fusion material. So trigger all your rockets. Um, Send off birthday. Oh. <laughs> um, Where did the snack go? <laughs> <laughs> um, as well as that, in um, I don't know what set this is. Dabl. Uh, we've got oh um, I don't know what that is. We move. So we move on to uh, the next major set after after the one. Uh, we get uh, what is that called? I can't remember what that set's called. I'll figure it out. You uh, had literally a rerun because this definitely you, isn't the second time we've shot this part. Of the I know this, but I didn't you have forgot, time to look it up. You forgot twice. <laughs> I didn't forget twice. I've still forgotten the same time. I'd never looked it up again. Okay. Anyway, um, we've got retrains of the Draco Slayers or new Draco Slayers, if you'd prefer. Um, so we've got one that belongs to Ignis, we've got one that belongs to uh, Magispecta, and one that belongs to Dynamist. Uh, one searches Donut a field moist. spell for free. One. <laughs> no, but, so, for some reason, every time I hear Dynamist now, I think Donut Moist, because that's what we called them for like a year and a half. What do you mean, we? Lachlan and myself. Oh, good. Yes, perfect. Report that to the community. <laughs> have, yeah, I will. Have him, man. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Majesty is probably... They can't search Drago face off. They should search map. Uh, none of them are that great. A lot of them will be pack filler. Dynamist is um, one card full combo. Yeah. Technically three cards. Yeah, technically really? six. The other two cards <laughs> just need to say Dynamist. Yeah. And then Yaguchi. Look, for Dynamist, sure, it's just another name. Um, Majesty seems to be the most cracked one, um, because, um, it... Adds one from deck if you've got like the Magispector or another Draco Slayer in the other scale. Um, and then. Does it add a Magispector? Hmm? Does it add a Magispector? Well, it's uh, not adding Kieran. No. That's where I'm going a, with this. Add a Draco Slayer. <laughs> Kieran adds a one. Draco Slayer Pendulum Monster with a different name. Right. Wait, Kieran's at one of the And then he can destroy a card in your Pendulum Zone. Sure. And then, yeah, when it's summoned um, by Pendulum or Special, it searches any field card. Fair. Just any. All right, you ready for this, Jake? So you ready? One in the OCG. Um, these aren't going to see any meta decks. You know, the meta decks that you would take to your locals and play in tournaments to get OTS packs. Speaking of OTS packs... Ben <laughs> really wants to talk about this, even though Ben's just going to fucking bitch No, I'm with him. No, no, no. You, you, you don't understand, Jake. If you're with these ulties, you are in the bin currently. <laughs> so, I don't know if we announced all of these on our last podcast. We did But not. we have the full set of the new OTS oh, 19. I haven't seen any supers though. I just have avoided it for some reason. So It's okay. Sword. It's okay. It's okay. Remember how we got Kawaga Hercules? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have the fusion material now. <laughs> you do. Both of them. Both of them. Um yeah, so um, supers? as our three ulties uh -huh. we have Fallen of Albaz, which we knew, uh Water Enchanters of the Temple in Ulti, and the Skill Drain. All uh, dog shit. <laughs> Okay. The skill drain's good. Ult no, no, here's the problem with the You're skill drain. You're promoting degeneracy. Y yeah, but no, okay, bigger that's problem. happening also, regardless. No, also, no, no, no. people that play skill drain don't give a fuck about the skill drain's rarity as long as it yeah. still says no. So here's the thing about the, the skill drain as well. It's not going to look good because there's nothing in the background. There's no like place in that card to make he's, it look He's good. now going to pull up those dog shit German artworks and be like, see, it looks good. No, no, no. I'm willing to... If they look good, they look good. But I know the cards are. I can't see how they made it look good. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying looks, fucking skill looks drain, you horrible. monkey. That does look bad. You're that a monkey. Horrible. Also, I said skill drain. There's three photos here, you fuck. So I just clicked me on skill the drain. first Why one. are you showing me? Yeah, see? There's no room in that to look good. It literally exactly what I said. Thank you, Jake. I appreciate you. Anyway. I'd much rather just turbo pack. So, what... Would you have as ulties, seeing okay. as though you've shot down okay. the last we nine only get, of them. So we only get three. We assume one has to be high-priced, medium-priced, and low-priced. Why does it have to be that? Because that's what OTS has always been. Except not the last one. Oh, actually, the last one is... You're actually right. The last one is... Yeah. Of, yeah, they were all kind of here. Oh, here. Like, Zeus was very clearly the cheaper one, but... 
Yeah. And like Fusion was very clearly like so fair. Um, but not as wide of a gap. All right. What are you doing? What are you picking? Ash Blossom. Fucking great idea. Yes. My shit one can be Tornado Dragon. <laughs> okay. It's short cheap. I thought we established there has to be a shit hey, one. No, no. Did, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm with you. I'm 100% I'll, with you. I'm 100% with you. I'll deal with you once you're no, 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 done no. your third. Ben? Totally fine. Not my unicorn. Yeah, alright. So. You can't have a link that's a high price. Yeah. It has to be a medium price link. Yep. Not my unicorn. So, for the same reason that you shat on uh, the Ecclesias and stuff, uh, Unicorn has a collector's rare. But that's I a lower that rarity. for that reason. That's a lower rarity. I shouldn't that because they're locked to an archetype. And they're just unnecessary. Yeah. The regular print is already uh, expensive, is expensive as fuck. Alright, now to the oh. major one. Ash Blossom. Yeah, brilliant. I don't think people realise that Ash Blossom as an ulti is a terrible idea. No, it's fine. It would idea. look great. Yeah. Yes. It would be very high value. Yeah. Yes. The problem with it is, because it's high value, because it would look good, because it'll be chase, it'll be fucking expensive. Yeah, and cool. So you, you have to your put... your bag, you have the decision of whether or not you sell it and make a lot of money, or you go for the three. Which is the problem that we had with impermanence. With I don't think that's a problem, full, uh, it's fucking, not a problem. I think it is. Why? This because is only a problem for people who want to... the market. It won't, because it doesn't increase the price of the lower ones, which is the only thing people care about. As long as it doesn't increase the price of the secret, the super, the fucking eighteen dollar t- commons, as long as it doesn't bump them up, I don't care how expensive imperm is. I don't care how expensive droplets is. I care that I can pull one and then get the three I need because I can just go, "Here's a fucking ulti. Give me the three secrets." I don't reckon it's a good idea. So you could just do also as an Og- ulti? Uh, yes, ogre Alex is an ulti ability. already. Uh, ogre was a fucking expensive. Ogre is a fucking expensive ulti. Was it already an OTS ulti? Um, I was thinking... Droll ulties. Yes, Droll nice. ulties. Um, there was one I was thinking. Oh, a Dragoon. Give. Eh. Give Dragoon. With Verte Ban, there's literally no point. It's, yeah. That's what I want as the, like, rando one. Is like the, alright, we haven't printed enough. I think It would be DD cool. People would jerk off because it's a fucking... Yeah. Bla- uh, not Blue Eyes card. Fuck me. Well, it's not a Blue Eyes card. Magician. Yeah, it's literally the only one of that three that it isn't. <laughs> so it's a Red Eyes card. It's a Dark Magician card. It's not a fucking Blue Eyes card. Um, but your talents would be cool. Talents would look really nice too. Talents has a collectors. What card? It has a Starlight. I mean Starlight. That's the one. Okay. Every good card has a Starlight for this. Every bad card. It, has it a would look better than a Starlight. Uh, sorry, sorry. They could make it look better than a Starlight. I'm not gonna say yeah. You listen. Uh, but there are a lot of choices that aren't skill drain fucking... Uh, a skill drain. A card that is in an archetype that nobody fucking plays anymore. So Fallen of Albaz. Skill drain is a great ultimate rare. Yes. Back when we got Turbo Pack 8, skill drain is an ultra rare. Yes. <laughs> it's just... Like, Imperm was sick. Droplets was sick. That... That... that section of OTS we had a good OTS where it was yeah. decent it had C- there was one there as well. where it was fucking abysmal yeah but that run where it was like Imperm Droplets fucking CDI, CDI yeah. everything that was, was astronomically high it was a so great... hard to get any of it yeah, Jake, if you pulled an ulti nobody it was great. fucking wants to Only except people... they fucking do no they don't they, they want do you know what people actually want people actually just want to make money for playing the game that's yes. what they actually want. This is they your actually prize want to, money. Yeah, they want to pull a three hundred dollar card so they can get some recursion so no on one, the deck they bought. So if bought. no one wants it, how are they making money? It's not about no one it. wants it. The, the people who will buy it off you, the really high end collectors or really high end players, let them pay the three hundred dollars because they will, and we know they will. And that's okay. Let them do it. I don't mind them doing it. I think it's stupid, but they don't, and that's totally fine. And that's why these ulties are shit. Anyway. What's going to be the most expensive one? Water Enchantress, probably. I don't know if it will be. I don't think people will want Water I don't think they will either. Do you know why? Because it's a fucking archetype. Nobody plays anymore. This was a good ulti two so, ulti ago. Yeah, they he, fucking here's killed another, the archetype. Here's they a just... follow-up problem to my problem that you raised. There was a problem of mine, not a really huge problem of mine, but since now that I've had 10 seconds to think about it, actually is an increasing problem of mine. You print ulti goddess, a Water Enchantress. Yeah. It has the collector's rare. Sure. The people who play high rarity have already spent a bunch of money on. Yeah. 
who people who play that consider as a higher rarity to ultimate rare. Do they? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. On top of that, mm. those people now aren't going to buy the ultra the ultimate rares. So there's gonna it's gonna be one of those like mid tier hundred and forty dollar royalties that you're that not no gonna one to really sell for wants it. to buy. Yeah, you're so gonna have gonna to be sell it for 120, 110. Yeah. You're gonna have to take yeah. an offer, someone's gonna lowball you. Yeah. Also, by the way, if you got the option of being given a collector's or a a, a, a ulti um, forbidden droplets, would you take the collectors? Starlight? No, no, no. collectors or ulti. Oh, if you got, uh, like, I don't know what a collector's forbidden droplets look like because it doesn't exist. Yeah, no, I... but what, what I'm saying is, if you're given the option, I think I'm always taking the ulti. I'm always taking the ulti because I don't like collectors' risk. Yeah, that's, it's it's strange to consider that the, there, there would be a case to say that collectors are higher rarity. It's very dependent on the card. Some yeah. collectors, granted, look fucking dog shit. Some oh, of them yeah. look like, desires. Very I, nice. Desires, I would always take an ulti. Always. Mm. Yeah, it's an interesting. Any argument. pot it card, depends I would take very much on the card. Oh, prosperity. Give us ulti prosperity. Sure, it'll be three hundred ult. I get it. I think they. Do, I get it. Just I think you give do us extra something. extra first. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. You do extra first, then once the value of prosperity comes down... Then oh, do duality it. again! But what about pot of inquisitiveness? No, duality again! What about positive... Positive... <laughs> positive <laughs> reinforcement? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was too busy trying to think of pot of generosity. Pot of generosity. Uh, <laughs> just pot like of positive... positive. <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, beyond those three cards, there are some other ones. Um, oh, so the what, supers what... are... Even worse. Oh, they really wanted the supers. Uh, we've got Caius the Shadow Monarch, uh, Trap Eater, which I'm happy about. That's the best super. By <laughs> yeah, the way. it is. Uh, Pain Painter, which is like it counts that itself as Plague Spreader. Um, DD Burfamet, Performer Pal, Odd Eyes Dissolver, which is like a fusion thing. Uh, Triple D Flame King Genghis, uh, Triple D Oracle King Dark, uh, Forbidden Practic Chalice as a here. super. Which isn't too bad. Oh, that's that's respectable. That's pretty cool. That yeah. should have been an ulti. Even though it already had an ulti, give it another one. <laughs> that's the, the duality. Give it another one. Um, oh, and, okay. and decent comments. Like Ben said, the material for the fusion card he hoped was never printed. Uh, Swamp Battle oh, Guard, yeah. Lava Battle Guard, Swamp Night oh, Assailant. Hold on, hold oh, on. Yeah, Did they, you say Swamp Battle yeah, Guard? They literally, the comments are just like, what if we just printed anime shit? That's cool. Yeah, it kind of is. Uh, I'll take or, it. Look. Gores, yeah. Okay, they just <laughs> reprinted attack a order. common gores. Attack order. Uh, Low like, fire blossom, heroic challenger, thousand blades, wisdom eye magician, performer pats, uh, skull could rat. We get, could we get like a talent or a storm or something in these? Could we get any, like you know when as a common? No, as a do you know when punish? <laughs> do you, Imagine. Do you know when punishment got reprinted? Like, that was a great super. Yeah, oh, but like, that's completely different punishment. to what I, you're implying. I, but what I'm saying is that like it, these slots could be used for like kind of nice reprints so that are already like twenty bucks. In my opinion, the talents is like like so twenty five thirty. Bucks. This is probably where Konami is coming from at the moment. Is that there is that many product delays that they simply don't know when these OTS packs are coming. Mm. And then, so by putting these obscure ones in there, it's not time specific. Yeah, Whereas sure. if they put in like a nice reprint for a deck that's all like meta now, Apparently, and yeah. then by the time the they actually arrive, like, that deck's been slaughtered on their most recent ban. For example, I think this happened like three OTS packs ago, where the supers were entirely archetype specific current meta stuff, mm. and it got delayed like three months. And by the time we got it, everything was gone. That was right. Like, I mean, we know we're not getting a list till fucking December. Do you remember the spiral ones? Yep. Yeah. We got oh, all the spiral man, stuff reprinted. God. All and the yeah. spiral reprints yeah, were just did. after it yeah. died. We got the OTS pack in like May, and it yeah. was like, oh, cool. But wait, we... no, we never actually got that OTS pack in Australia properly, because that was the COVID OTS pack. Yeah, yeah. So when we came back from COVID, that was the OTS pack we like, got. Hey guys, like, Super Agent. Uh, mm, this yeah, because I remember uh, getting it and then being like, cool, and then I got back and I went. Hmm. Why are we forgetting this? Um, but also, we know we're not getting a list until December. So yes. It could do it. Do we're we getting it? the ban list on my birthday. D Christmas. So there's two different lists. Yeah, we go off websites. the one that gives you a date. What card? Because I'm fairly sure it's the US site that gives you the date. What? So there's two different ones. Sure, one we'll says yeah. no sooner than something or other. December. Which puts it a lot... No, no. No, one doesn't have a date. One has a few months. Yeah, one says oh, a few the months. Oh, the other says Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Um... So we're all kidding Christmas to do a podcast here. 
I'm incredibly busy that day, but sure. <laughs> no, nah, we could do it. Who would have known the Jewish kids would be busy on Christmas? I mean, yeah. You Mate, are. you just don't believe in Christmas. What the fuck? It's my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get to have two things. Fuck you. He doesn't. <laughs> he's not. That's the point. Um, I think. But that's anyway, um, bad ulties. Um, unfortunate because no money. Hey, yes, Craig. Craig. Can we smell burnt toast? Yeah, there's a fire at the toast factory. Oh, again? <laughs> yeah. I can't smell. This is ableist. Wee woo wee woo wee woo. Um. I'm looking for. Oh, here we go. Um. No. I'm seeing if there's a question that's worth asking. That's worth, worth asking. All, read, read all the people's questions. We appreciate. There's been a lot of questions. All in questions. the Discord, in the description below, there is a link. And that link yes. will take you to the Discord in the link in the description below. And there you can ask questions. That we will all read all the time. Sometimes we, we might them. answer them in Discord because... I will go on holidays and not read them. Um, do, do keep in mind, I rarely hey, check Discord. Um, hold on. I, I I'm going to check Discord ah, more, except I don't think I've hit it. it. I got it. Jake's I knew found was a, a question. I knew that was a good question. There's um, a couple of questions. Which Discord is it? <laughs> um, Seek for G. Okay. Cowboy for game. Okay. Uh, sure. Sure. Okay. So our question this week comes from Crobat Fire. Um, Crobat V. <laughs> um, his question is: What is your favorite non-meta deck to play at events? Uh, he likes to play. He met- just wanted to answer Metaphys. He no, saw the question. Was no, like, I just you're want to say fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to play Mech Lords at his locations so he can equip his opponent's synchro monsters to his boss and have him gain attack. Okay. Ben. Care to answer the question? Dragon no one cares. Anyway. Uh, I like playing Amorph Ages. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like playing Flunderies because they're not a meta deck. Come on. Yeah. That's not trying. That's not, that's not effort. Okay. I, we, we, we've uh, each talked an event. It's Cleese. It's Cleese. Yes, that, I'll, I'll that play. I'll play dickhead set for. I knew your answer. All days. You just have to realize what your answer was. <laughs> anyway, now move, say invoke. Move, no, shh, shh, shh. Shh. Moving on to the next question. Yeah. No. Uh, the answer for me is mech knights. Sometimes yeah. you flip a coin that lands ten heads when you call tails. Here's the thing, and sometimes people remember not to line up their cards, and your whole deck doesn't function. Except they don't. No, they do. I do. I I never forget, Jake. I swear to God, bro. One I will must not forget. always play around Dude, Mac Knights. Do you know the amount of times I've gone <laughs> set find a trap over here? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You just flip it and win. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. True. Once you get barrier statue up, fucking Mac Knights under shit. <laughs> They're like small <laughs> shit. Small rock. What, what where do? wind Mac Knights? Small rock. What do? <laughs> the green one's not a wind. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, none of them are wind. They're all light. It should have been an archetype. Yeah, that would have been fun. Colors. Next question. Next question. We have. Grobat V. Sorry, which one? Which uh, Discord was it? A cowboy for game. It's quick. It's quick fire question week, Jake. Quick fire question. There's a lot of garbage in here. There isn't questions. People are filling up my chat with garbage. Um, hey, don't insult the viewers. Our viewers are precious. I respect you, viewer. <laughs> um. <laughs> What do you think of DDD this format? Shut up. I it, think it's good. It's I, fine. I think it's very good. It just loses to hand traps. I'm currently <laughs> working on my list. <laughs> now that we finally have the new card and I've come back from holidays, I can oh, work yeah, on my the DDD no list trap. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah now I, I can play around would, the beer. <laughs> I thought that would have like a mad resurgence. Hey, this is a good question. It's done nothing. Which one? Oh, it, it pops up. You're pointing, yeah. at, you're pointing to some. I think it's thing. respectable. If your choice is to play DDD or complete recent, rogue, and you're big enough brain to play DDD, play DDD. It's oh, yeah, really fun to play. Oh, it's you. super fun. You can do lots of stuff with it. It's really cool. I like DDD. You should like DDD. It's much better than playing some random ass shit. If your option is playing DDD or Magician Girls, play DDD. <laughs> Um, also, reevaluate your life. The game got you to the point, point where, where you're playing you're, Magician between Girls. Between Magician Girls or DDD. <laughs> Hear me out. No. No. Magician Girls is more expensive than a DDD core. Oh, yeah, yeah because Whammon. Yes. Whammon tax. But. Well, what about Joan de Arc? True. 
See, here's the thing. Because I'm a man of the, <laughs> the people, right? And Jake is not a man of the people. He, I can't fucking read! It was the most recent question. There's a good question from Rye Guy who I think we've had before. We're gonna get that. Yeah, I know. Oh, like it's fucking news. Um, bum, 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 bum. I can't read! Uh, um, <laughs> anyway. We've had Rye Guy before, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rye Guy's a regular. Let's read the next question. Quick fire question yeah. week. All right. If you stop talking over me, I'd read the question. How long did your take so to anyway. jump from having casual... To locals, man. If you could fucking read, that'd be great too. Playing casually to locals to competitive, casually to locals to competitive. Um. Okay. Quick fire. Yeah. No. Are we defining this as like in our adult life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like not as like. like okay. So, so school. I I literally I got, a I, I got back into the game. <laughs> I Im- immediately picked up <laughs> the three Yugi starter decks that came in that three that gold pack and went to a locals and was like I got fucking destroyed made an arch enemy um, and then fuck you <laughs> and then uh, then <laughs> probably like the end of the last podcast. probably like two weeks like two months later I had like a semi competent deck and I was like I'm learning I'm learning now I'm going to locals and I'm doing decent and then it was still probably like what was that? That would have been like uh, about eight months, and then I was like competitive. So I think about eight months from like entry point to competitive. I won't lie to Go. you. I just realized mine was ages. I went back into the game. Yosenju came out. Necroz came out. We went to the Necroz fucking apocalypse time where that was just a thing. Learn how to play against Necroz and all that. Picked up Cleese two years too late, or a year too late, and then played Cleese for. A year and a half, two years, in which forced myself to win some regionals and LDSs and shit, and forced myself to be good with bad decks. Then picked up ABCs on release. Okay. And ABCs I would consider to be the second best deck of that format. And then it was three months later was when I picked up Frogs. I had, no, I had ABC at that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Structured deck. Gang. Yeah, no, I just had that and then went to that YCS playing Exodia. I literally just completely spaced and forgot that that was a structure deck. Yeah, it had been reprinted yeah. out the fucking ass. Yeah. So I just uh, like didn't... everything else in the deck wasn't. Like you had to get uh, the Bujin card. The Bujin, the Diamond Dive yeah. Wolf. Uh, the, fucking... the Magnetic Man that was like, search a card. Oh, yeah, the, the Gold and Silver Gadgets. Yes, fucking, yes. Yeah. It was in the movie pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, from it's the okay. fucking movie. I was a casual. I opened fuckloads of that. Oh yeah. yeah! Oh, that was the worst thing about being a casual player. I'll get onto my history in a minute. The amount of money I've wasted on garbage sets. <laughs> I bought so much gold set. The, it's ridiculous, I, dude. I I opened um the gold set with Maxi in it. Pulled the Maxi. I've never been more happy in my life. Also, the Mega Tin season was the most exciting fucking thing in the world for me. I pulled a Mega Tin Strike, and I was jacking that shit for years. That's it. Excuse me? At, yeah, you heard me. <laughs> uh, when that, Old men. When that set launched, uh, I was I was doing long haul truck driving, and I would stop at the Kmart slash EV Games at Bateman's Bay and pick up a gold series every time I went through that. Town. That's sick. I'd go through the this town. Is like the weirdest like, part of your history, hey? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> truck driver Ben. Yeah. I, I drive a long haul truck. Truck. I just can't see. That's it. why he wears flannels. Of course. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that is that like how you retain your license? Like, can you just get into a truck as long as you're wearing your flannel? Is that how it works? No, that's not how that works. My life, my no, truck just... license is not valid. Oh, that's 100 how it works. No, it's it's fine. Fine. no you um, need the cap too. Anyway. Oh, the cap, yeah. And no, I won't do it. No, 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 no. <laughs> nothing about that. Uh, so, nope. so before I got into like playing at locals, me and like three of my mates would just go to their house every Tuesday, effectively Tuesday locals. And just play at their house, it was like him and like playing for fun, for fun kind of thing. And like we'd do the whole like um, round table, like we all versus each other at the same time. Those cluster King, fun things. King, yeah, yeah. Like that shit was fun. Then one of us started going to GGs before everyone else, and he's like, "Hey, they do like weekly tournaments and shit. That'd be really fun." And I was like, "Oh yeah, that'd be fun." Uh, rock up with my fucking agent deck from far too long ago from where I was versus Bragg's girlfriend who was playing Shadol and who fucking donked me. Um, then versus Tom the next round and got a fucking deck check because I was playing fucking cards of a band. <laughs> like I was playing two bottomless trap hole. I flipped one. Tom's like fine. I flipped the second. He's like, uh. Hey, hang on. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Yeah, for a long time, like I want to say at least a year, I was playing absolute garbage decks. Like, I just looked at archetypes that I liked, and I kind of still do that, to be honest. I just looked at archetypes I liked, like, oh, great, I get to steal my opponent's I shit. remember. I don't need to buy good shit, I just first, take this. My first memory of you is playing Gradle. Yeah. That, that's where I knew the Jaker. My progression of Yu-Gi-Oh! was, like, when I got back into the game, was me playing that shitty three yu gi decks put together to Pepe. <laughs> And I was like, but however, this is at the August ban list, so Pepe just got its like final nail in the coffin to, in being not that great anymore. Um, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy those pen socks. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm hearing is big competitive ego socks. This um, this was way more fun. Oh, I won't lie. But to there you. was way less pressure to put like do to, well. To do well, it was yeah. fine. But at the same time, like, and there's something I've only realised about myself fairly recently is that I'm actually super competitive it's just for the most part of my life I've not actually applied myself to anything outside of like a very niche area so I didn't know that I was competitive do you remember when I did the um the first of what I will almost I forgot to do shit it's once a year I just need to remember to do it once a year um of your the... taxes you're really <laughs> competitive at your tax return yes um <laughs> Jake on this subject that I've just now remembered I wanted to bring up earlier um did it always suck having your birthday on the July 1st because your parents hadn't got their tax money yet back no what anyway um I Jake, just thought my, that. my parents no matter what time of year it is refused to buy me what I liked oh, yeah, so okay. most occasions Amen. sucked um <laughs> but uh the Once a year. D- yeah I did the Seafood or the yu gi player awards yeah yeah um, where I named Boris as the uh, player's player and he was he wrote like fucking 18 paragraphs about how much he appreciated it and I was like big up Boris um, then he left uh, never to be seen again um, I see you but time. there was one year where you went from a fucking shitter to oh holy shit Jake's winning everything like everything like, it's when you won player of the year it's when you won the, like the GG's thing and then went to PAX oh yeah that was my year that year I was like that was 2017 no. No. It, it would have been 20... 2019 was the bad year. I think it was 18. I think it was... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was. It was 2018. Because you did 17. the PAX thing. 18? 18. 17 was ABC year. ABC Metal Foes. Um, oh, no. Because I got from? made redundant just before PAX. So it's 2018. And then I got hired again in 2019. Yeah. That was that long ago. Yep. Yeah. Fuck me, time's gone. It, no, it's literally... Oh, no, no, it's the COVID thing. Just went, whoop, and you just... All of it's just like, oh, okay, that that happened. Like, it's gone. Yeah, that two years is effectively Blur's Day. Yeah. Um, but then I was like, oh, yeah, like, you want to be competitive now. I was like, oh, that that would, like... Yeah, there so... Was a, playing good decks is one thing. Trying to be hyper-competitive is another. Yeah, and it's, again, something I only realised about myself semi-recently is that just for the longest time I wasn't doing anything where there was a competitive scenario to it like the most competitive was like um I can't even think like school shit where yeah, like yeah. yeah just shit like that and then recently even like to back to the weekend that just passed I was sitting there like and I just knew I was like fuck I fucking get like one more win I'm just gonna fucking lose my shit yeah yeah and, and it's that, a thing and of that's why like, I wrote off the game yeah so I was like, you're like no, if no, I no. can't win this game is garbage yeah yeah you're like hang on like I'm not playing a good deck and I fucking hate that like I should be and I should be winning so I used to be a hyper competitive person and then like I suffered a massive concussion and just lost a oh, like 95% of my competitive drive well I mean, of the of the brain function to lose that's not terrible yeah, like, I, I don't know what happened. Like, I went to a doctor, and the doctor was like, oh, that's just the way it is. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. I, I went and I was like, hey, hey, remember how, like, I had this massive concussion, like, three months ago? The doctor was like, yeah. I was like, I don't feel motivated to, like, do anything that involves winning. And he was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> that's like, weird. Cool. <laughs> anyway. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, like... Yeah, it, yeah. That's strange. Yeah, it's weird. I feel like there's got to be like some element of it for Yu Gi Oh in particular because there's so much money involved and so much time involved. Like the social thing is really cool, but at the crux of things, I think at least us, 
we want to go to events and we want to do well like that's yeah. the point of why we go um with trips like we just went on i feel like there was like a separate point to it like it was okay because we had so much time either side the event didn't matter as much. That's what I tried to do with that trip, by the way. Like, I the was, couple like, of Brisbane... hours that I was there, I was fucking miserable because I was yeah. losing most things. Like, but then, like, the before and the after, great. That's why Brisbane, yeah. for me, was kind of, like, we kind of went up, immediately competed, and then fucked off. And anybody who didn't do well, it felt bad. Like, it just wasn't really, you know... When I was at the tournament, I was, like, 1-2, and I was like, oh, this is just the way this is supposed to be. And then I won my next three rounds, and I was like... Hang on. I can top this. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, like, that that's the thing. And I think that at least the people there are fairly nice. Um, all the... All the good players... Uh, not like the... You know, some of the above good players can be a bit sometimes. But most like just the general Sydney crew. General, like, good bunch. Like, Jeremy, Jack, and stuff. Really lovely people. Nice to hang around. Oh, like, no. That's just cool. And I'm like, I just enjoy that. For the most part, all of my opponents were fine. There was only one that I didn't like, and he was playing <laughs> a scum deck. So the minute he didn't put out his V Star token, I was just like, you're a cuck, aren't you? Call yeah. Judge. Get him DQ'd for not having that V Star token. Yeah, get him. He wasn't playing V Stars. You have to have one there anyway. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. You fuck, could have shocked him. You yeah. could have shocked him, but fuck. he would have gotten bingo because it's your opponent shocks you. I don't care. He can have bingo. No, you don't allow people to have no, bingo. No, he can have his bingo while he's walking out the fucking hall. Yeah, that's fair. Next question. Rapid fire. Rapid that's fire. It. That's we, it. We got kicked out with all the shitters, by the way. Did you know that? We got yeah. kicked out of the venue because it rained too late. I but they let the there. top 16 stay. But then they kicked us out anyway. And I was like, yeah. no, they kicked us out with the plebs. I was there. Yes. I know. You remember that clip where I didn't... Did you see that, uh, did you see that clip that was yeah. posted off me that I didn't realize was recorded? Yes. Yeah, I just didn't know that. Somebody just like replied to my deck list with a clip of me that I hadn't seen. <laughs> and I was like, where, did, where is this clip from? Where did you get this? It's literally me like going, he got top eight, I got top 16, this shit is easy. And I was like, when the fuck, when did I say that? It's like, okay. Yeah, wasn't that the dude that came out with like his little mic yeah, thing? Yeah, the guy yeah, who yeah. didn't know what going X is. Yes. And yeah, apparently, right. that, like for anyone who's watching this, apparently when you say you go X whatever at a thing, that's a purely Yu-Gi-Oh thing. We said it to several Pokemon people. No one knew. I said it at a sports thing, and my coach was like, "Are you stupid?" And I was like, "Nah, Soz, that's that's on me." <laughs> he was like, he was like that's, "That's my bad." We went X this, and then he put a camera right in my face and was like, "What is going X?" And I was like. X is the number of possible wins where you've won every round factoring your losses. And he was like, what? <laughs> I was like, I, what? I, I've literally just explained what it is. That's, that's So, if there's eight rounds and you've gone X3, you've won five. Why don't you just say five? Because it's easier just to count your losses because that's all that matters. Yeah, well, the thing is you're usually talking to people that have been in the event they know how many fucking rounds you played. So, yes. saying X whatever is so much easier. I don't think it is. <laughs> I think it's just... Going X is just the easiest way to say it. it sure, When but... you get up to big numbers, like if you're going to a fucking American YCS and sure. they're playing 13 X, rounds, X1, two, they can't be yeah. like, oh, we played 11-3-I. Fucking dead. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. That's fine. Because Pokemon anyway, Regionals in America are two days and they're like 15 rounds. And it's like, okay, yeah, fair. Fuck you, that. See, once you get above X4, though, that's when you start to just say, ah, I fucked up. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> had, ah, had to go. We dropped. Real shit. <laughs> we dropped. <laughs> Real we, shit. We went and got kebabs. <laughs> Speaking of, um, Lachlan has promised to do a kebab review uh, video, so if that doesn't get posted, uh, yell at him. Yeah, yeah, add him in the chat if you yeah. don't see within three weeks. Yeah, get him. Look, there's a lot of things Definitely. that Lachlan says can do. <laughs> 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 yeah. He still hasn't recorded the questions. <laughs> Man catches COVID once and then just stops doing what he was going to do. <laughs> anyway, He'll does... watch this in two weeks and then <laughs> he'll get back to me. <laughs> I'm getting on the aggressive. You really are. We passed 3 a.m. Yes. Fun. And we have reached the end of the podcast. Thank you all very much for listening. Uh, as we've said, there is a link in the description below to join our Discord if you'd like to jump in ask us questions for next week. Or just have a chat, say hi, jump in. Otherwise, we'll see I'm you I'm in there time. now, as of now. Yep. Also, Flunder is a tier zero on fucking Master Duel. Suck my dick. You know tier what? zero is in... It's zero Flunders exist. Shut up. <laughs> as we depart, yes. I will inform the viewers of the best things to do with all your Flunder is guys. Put them in the beam. Well, they make great bookmarks. Really good. Not a Starlight.